every morning with drive Been on the grind, know I had to survive We had to win Started from the dirt and the rubble I had to be the needle that was popping your bubble Let Hello and welcome in to the Rookie Prospect Profile Series This is a Zilla Fantasy Elite production Thanks for tuning in If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button If you are enjoying these prospect profiles With the machine learning twist Today we're going to be looking at running back Keaton Mitchell. Keaton Mitchell was not actually drafted, but he did go as a UDFA to the Baltimore Ravens. And they do come into the league out of Eastern Carolina. Looking at some of their physical traits, we can see that Keaton Mitchell comes in at 5'8 and 179 pounds. That leaves him with a BMI of 27.2. And a 40 time of a blazing 4.37, and that gives a speed score of 98.2. Putting all of their physical traits into the R Studio model, along with some of their college numbers, we can get a prospect score of 10.274 for Keaton Mitchell, and that ranks 259th overall. That is a 16.5 percentile outcome or 16.5 percentile prospect score out of the 310 running backs in the R Studio Models database. Shifting over to see who are the closest comparables to Keaton Mitchell's R prospect score, we see that the next closest better than him are George Wynn, Spencer Ware, Brandon Oliver, Daryl Williams, and Tyson Williams. The next five closest below are Jarrett Patterson, Jordan Mason, Darren Reeves, Thomas Rawls, and Pierre Thomas. So, not inspiring a ton of confidence here with the Keaton Mitchell comps and the R Studio prospect score. You know, Thomas Rawls had a little bit of a hint of some dynasty value. Pierre Thomas had some solid run there. Uh, Jarrett Patterson, I know a lot of people liked him because he scored like seven touchdowns in a game, but didn't really do anything in the NFL. Brandon Oliver had a solid season once, Daryl Williams as well. But really not super great here for Keaton Mitchell in terms of the R Studio comparables. So let's switch now to the machine learning model for Mr. Keaton Mitchell. See what we can find. Running him through that model now, we can see that he had a mean of 11.88, a median of 11.95, a min of 5.93, and a maximum of 16.93, getting those percentile outcomes 10th at 9.24, 10.49, 13.2, and 14.59 for the 25th, 75th, and 90th percentile outcomes, respectively, and an M50 gap of 2.71. Before we get into historical comps in terms of mean, median, and max, let's go look at those ranks for Mr. Keaton Mitchell as a UDFA. We see that he comes in with a mean rank of 12, median rank of 11. The minimum rank is the 21st best, and the maximum rank is actually 12th best in the entire class. The uh, 10th percentile through 90th percentile ranks, you can see 13, 12, 12, and 12. Pretty impressive with an M50 gap of 21. Uh, really, that's kind of saying he's a little bit more volatile, even though these are a little bit slightly higher scores, you know, 12th overall in the class. Um, his M M50 gap really is saying he's spread out over larger distance, and you can consider him a little bit more volatile of a project or a prospect in the particular model. So, historical comps, what are we looking at? Keaton Mitchell, 11.88, 11.95 for that middle outcome. Who's sitting there hovering around the upper 11s or 12 range? <laughs> Well, that's going to be your Chase Edmonds, 11.94, J.D. McKissick at 11.96, Tavon Austin's best season, 12, Javante Williams' best season, 12.05, Travis Etienne just above him at 12.06, Naheem Hines, 12.08, Mike Tolbert, 12.14, Rashad Penny's best, 12.17. So, not too bad. You know, we got some big names in there who maybe haven't reached their peak yet, but some pretty solid names in there in terms of what it's saying Keaton Mitchell's average outcome may be should he get 80 opportunities in a season. Going all the way up to that max of 16.93, getting close to the 17 range. Just under that, we're looking at a guy like Shane Vereen at 16.8. 
16.9 for Ryan Matthews, Trent Richardson, 16.98, 17 flat for Eddie Lacy, 17.1 for Reggie Bush. A little bit lower than that, we have Brees Hall is the next lowest after Shane Vereen. He's at 16.44. So again, some solid numbers there, especially if Keaton Mitchell maxes out. In order to do that, you know, he's going to need to get those 80 opportunities in a season. Will he do that on the Baltimore Ravens? That remains to be seen. Um, at 179 pounds, you know, he's pretty light in terms of uh, reaching that kind of volume. So I would err of or the side of that he's probably never going to get 80 opportunities in his career. But if he does, it's saying that he might do pretty well. Well, that's going to do it for today's rookie prospect profile on Keaton Mitchell, folks. He's going to the Baltimore Ravens as a UDFA. Hopefully the RStudio model and this machine learning model can give you a little bit of additional confidence in making those decisions when it comes to draft time and all that analysis that you're doing for all of these rookies. Really appreciate the view, folks. This is presented by Zilla Fantasy Elite. I want to thank them and thank you for tuning in. Have a good one, folks. Bye. Uh, yeah, whole crew on top, really be on top Wake up every morning with drive, been on the grind, know I had to survive, we had to win Started from the dirt and the rubble, I had to be the needle that was popping your bubble